Also, another thing I wanted to show you is how I've been doing these POV videos. I don't have a, a small camera to put in the, in the cap, like a RAN cam or something like that. So I'm using my cell phone. Uh, it's, a, it's a Huawei P30 Lite, uh, recording in the 60 frames per second. It gives me a much better, cleaner image. And I'm using this, uh, this apparatus here I made. It's basically a wooden board, more or less the size of the, of the cell phone, with some foam. I put some foam blocks here, so it would give me the correct tilt. And I use this sheet of paper facing the screen. So I put the screen sit on this uh, sheet of paper so it doesn't uh, move or I don't press any buttons by mistake because the paper doesn't let you uh, touch anything on the cell phone while it's recording. So you put it here, then you put the rubber band around the cell phone and finally when the cell phone is attached you put it like this in your head. So this uh, foam blocks serve to give you the correct tilt and you gotta fine-tune this to your correct uh, point of view. You put one more or you remove one block and until you have the correct tilt to match your line of sight with the center of the cell phone image. And it, it's been working great. So yeah, I'm putting the camera now on it. Just give me 10 seconds. <laughs> So we can start to record like I usually do. But just to show you this little gadget for those of you don't, that don't have the cameras to put on your cap and you want to record your flights like I do now. And it gives you some cool results. Of course, no hands. Okay, it's now nice and sit on my cap here I think it's okay just correcting the just correcting the tilt yeah and that's it no hands now of course and let's get ready to fly the tundra the wind is almost non-existent now really just a small slight breeze so it's perfect okay let's put the radio here on my neck oh I forgot I gotta exchange the model here for the Tundra because I had the radio set for the ASW let's just call in the model model select and Tundra it's the number one of course <laughs> the first one I had so I have it set for nine minutes using the usual ZP3S2200 60C pack. It gives me solid nine minutes, even with some aerobatics on the middle and all that. So it's good. If you fly really slowly, you can do 10 minutes, maybe 11. No problems at all. So let's connect here our battery. Okay, all good. Let me just turn the motor off. Oh, I also assembled this white spinner in the Tundra. It's a 38 millimeter, if I'm not mistaken. And it has a, an aluminum back plate, which I had to drill just a tiny bit to fit the motor shaft, which is six millimeters. Uh, and it fits perfectly. Really nice finish to the model. Really cool. Okay. Usual pre-flight checks, up and down, rudder left, rudder right, right aileron, left aileron, first flap position and second flap position. Okay, all seems good. So let's go and fly the Tundra. Of course, motor on. <laughs> let's see the wind direction here. Pointing straight to the runway, so good. The terrain is getting really dried and sandy, so this is the perfect plane for this for this spot. 
no doubt about it. Okay, first flat position and let's get it.